There's growing concern that ongoing protests and the police response may make the pandemic worse. Yeah, KKLN's Dave Lopez explains why local health officials are so concerned about it. For days now, we've all seen the pictures. Massive crowds, elbow to elbow, many people not wearing masks. And the question, if you've been there, should you get tested for COVID-19? So I want to just caution everybody about rushing to get a test. One thing for sure is if I had an exposure today, uh, going and getting tested today is likely to yield a negative result. Which, Dr. Barbara Ferrer said, would give you a false sense of security. It's not instantaneously. It's not, I have an exposure I'm immediately when I get tested, it's going to show up. It does, this virus doesn't really work that way. Justice! So if you've been at a demonstration and you feel you've been exposed to the virus, what do you do? The best thing to do is to stay out of circulation as much as possible to protect other people even for the 14 no days. Even with no symptoms? Even with no symptoms, we ask people. I mean, that, that's contacts, right? You remember, that's the whole name of the game. And if you live with someone, the doctor said, who is older or has underlying conditions, from the time you're exposed, stay away. Wear a mask in the house when you're around them, and if you're clear for 14 days, you're fine. If you develop any symptoms in that period from the time you were exposed, call your doctor and get tested. You're going to have to wait the 14 days to really determine whether or not you've been infected, and the safest thing to do is to not be circulating during that incubation period. And she repeated over and over, the safest way to protect yourself while at a demonstration Wear that mask. But if you're going to go out there, just be aware that at some point, okay. Okay. the mask, and at some point, be ready to quarantine yourself. Yeah, I mean, this at, is... At what point do you... Well, this is what I really say to people. You know, try to keep yourself as far away from other people uh, when you're out there protesting. You know, do that six feet of distancing. But as you can see, in most cases, that's impossible to do. And short of that? And short of that, you know, I don't call it quarantine. It's really stay at home. Try to stay away from other people as much as possible. Monitor yourself for signs and symptoms. Based on what you've seen, there'll be a lot of people that need to self-quarantine. I think there'll be people who should really pay attention to keeping themselves away from other people uh, for the 14 days. The doctor told me she's not surprised by the fact that the number of positive cases in the county has grown in the last week by nearly 10,000. It's expected, she said, because the economy is opening up more. And when I asked, will a bigger spike happen because of these demonstrations, she said, I can't predict that. We'll know in about three weeks. From downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, KCON 9 News.